Hello everyone, here we will discuss about the cross entropy which is the loss function useful for classification problem statements. The cross entropy is building upon the idea of information theory entropy which is measuring the difference between two probability distributions of given random variable or set of events which is having uh, different types of cross entropy for a binary class classification and multi class classification. The first one is categorical cross entropy, which is useful for multi class classification problem statements, which, which is having the formula L equal to minus 1 by m number of samples, summation of i equal to 1 to m per uh, actual output of the ith sample into log of predicted output of ith sample. Then binary cross entropy is uh, another loss function which is useful for binary class classification. Its formula is minus 1 by m number of samples into summation of i equal to 1 to m number of samples. Then the first term which is giving you about the uh, actual label uh, dot log of predicted label of the ith sample plus 1 minus yi, yi is actual label dot log of 1 minus predicted value of ith sample. Here m is the number of data samples, yi is actual label, always it will be either negative class or positive class. Then another one is a predictor value, it will be having the probability value the range of 0 to 1. Here why we are using log value in the log function in the place of uh, cross entropy formulas. Here uh, we will take two models, one is the uh, A and another one is B. The A is giving you the probability values for the single sample here which is represented uh, with the product of probability. The probability of uh, two independent events or more number of independent events which are occurring together which is calculated by multiplying the events individual probabilities. So here we, we have taken two, uh, two events, uh, event A and event B. So the total probability of these models are multiplying the probability of each independent sample. So here the product probability of model A we are calculating. So these are the probability values of uh, five, uh, four samples. Okay, Four samples pro predicted values are uh, given in this model A. Here the 0 0.1 is uh, one uh, sample value and 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.2. So we are getting the 0 0.0084 and the model B is uh, predicting value for all four samples here the this is representing as positive class this is representing as negative class then we have to uh, take the total probability of this model by multiplying all the values we are getting 0 0.3024 so here we are getting uh, maximum value by the uh, model b so we are coming to the conclusion model b is better than model a but here uh, this is calculated for only four number of samples okay if you are having more number of samples then it is not possible by the uh, calculating of uh, product uh, total probability by using uh, pr product of all the probability values when you are taking thousands samples okay for example students data set if you are taking thousand samples then for each sample you will get the product value uh, i mean the product of probability right probability value between 0 to 1 when you are having the uh, thousand samples probability value the range from 0 to 1 you will get more number of uh, 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 values after the decimal point so always it will be close to the zero that means it will point out the less error so it is not suitable for the deep learning model so for uh, for that uh, issue we are going to use the transformation of these products to a sum using the logarithmic function
so the product of uh, products uh, is uh, transforming into the sum using uh, sum of the logarithmic values so here you look at that we are taking 0.1 probability value applying the logarithmic value so logarithmic of 0.1 then logarithmic of second samples probability value by using the logarithmic function like that zero th uh, the third sample log of 0.6 log of 0.2 so like that we are applying the value then uh, you are getting the value uh, for that uh, all the four samples in the form of negative value and also model b is also applying to that probability values which are detected here okay this is the model b which is detected here so log 0 0.8 plus log 0 0.6 plus log 0 0.7 plus log 0 0.9 you are getting minus 0 0.505 you see we are getting the uh, negative value uh, here the loss always should not be in the uh, negative it should be in the positive value error should be in the positive value so to avoid this issue right uh, to avoid this negative value uh, we are going to use minus 1 into logarithmic of that probability value so here we are going to use minus 1 into logarithmic of that value for each and every term so when you are using this you are getting the positive value right so when you are getting the positive value in the error then we are calculating the error i mean loss by using the uh, minus logarithmic uh, for bringing the loss value into the positive value so now we can predict which is giving you less value that will be the better model okay so model b is giving you the uh, less loss okay low loss which is close to the zero so which is the better model so that's why we are going to use minus logarithmic in the loss function of cross entropy so the cross entropy loss is the sum of the negative logarithmic of predicted probabilities of each sample that is what given here so due to this which is giving you the better metric to evaluate the models performance for which uh, for the classification problem statements thanks for watching